Your words give us hope, Medea. Gaza loves you, Medea. We need your support, Medea. Thank you, Medea. Please continue to stand with us, and we are thankful to you, Medea. We are grateful for your support, Medea. Thank you, Medea. I was so shocked and moved and humbled by receiving that message from you, the children of Gaza, in the midst of all you were going through to take the time to send us a message of encouragement is truly amazing. I want you to know that you have millions of people here in the United States, even right here in the nation's capital, who love you and who are determined to keep fighting until you have the happy, healthy, safe, peaceful lives in a free Palestine that you so deserve. And I look forward to going back to Gaza when Gaza is free. In the meantime, I'm sending you so much love. I see you, children of Gaza. You are beautiful. Thank you for this wonderful message that you sent to us. We will always work hard to keep you in our hearts and keep you safe. We look forward to meeting you in person, inshallah, one day. We are so proud of you, and you are the reason we keep going and we keep doing what we do. Thank you for your strength and for teaching us every day the value of life. Our hearts and minds are with you as you struggle for your liberation and as we take on and challenge our government for the support of apartheid occupation Israel and its genocide against you. It is a shame on humanity and many of us are standing up. We send great love to you. We are with you. We will always be with you. And I just want you to know that I see what's happening. I care about what's happening. I am not at all okay with what's happening. I love you. What's happening is absolutely atrocious. It's unconscionable and we hope that this ends soon and you can have the lives that you deserve to have. We love you. You're in our hearts every single day as we fight for a free Palestine where you can enjoy going back to school, playing with your friends and just feeling safe. We love you so much. You're in our hearts. We're not going to stop fighting. We are going to stand alongside you until you are liberated and we are all liberated from the oppressors and from the hand of Israel. We love you and we care about you and we are not going to stop. We are standing by your side and we are standing strong. We want you to be able to be out and playing and celebrating and enjoying life like every child in the whole world should be. Uh, we will continue with the push to an end of the killings and the bombings um, for you and your family. Um, though I haven't met you, I want you to know that your aunties, your grandmas, your mothers, and the older ones are, are connecting with us on a daily basis. And here in DC, we're trying to get to know each other better and holding you in high esteem for your liberation of your country's people and we love you. We are, um, are thinking about you. We will never forget you and we will never stop working to stop the war so that you can have a regular childhood like all children deserve. Peace is coming. And we're gonna do everything in our power to make sure that you can grow up in the world and you don't have to worry about farms being thrown around you. You can live in love as everyone has a right to do. From Washington, D.C. with love. You're with us in our hearts and we have so much solidarity for you. We love you all so much.